the eyes are literally shiny. Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven today with a scale figure review. A figure that is impossible in a way it shouldn't exist. Not at this price point that I'm giving you guys a spoiler right now. Go and get one. Go and buy one before it is too late because with all these low-cost uh, Chinese brand figures in general, for some reason, they become rare and expensive after release. Over in Japanese websites like Ami Ami, HLJ, Hobby Search, and everywhere else, they become rare and expensive, and their value actually go up in the pre-owned market. Even though they are dime a dozen, they are everywhere over in Chinese website like Taobao, right? So keep an eye on her because this figure right here is coming out in September. And if you did not pre-order one, try to grab it while she is still in stock. So I did not know what was the name of this figure when I did her unboxing in my figure haul video last week. This is apparently Animaster's Shiny Series, a line of figures they call Shiny Series. One by six kill Chong Sam Girl. Yep, just Chong Sam Girl. She doesn't have an actual name, which was released in China back in July. Yeah, almost two months ago. And I actually received mine back in early August. But you know, I have to compile of all of my figure purchases within August before I can make a figure haul video. This one, this figure right here, is going for around 7,000 yen. Uh, that is the international price, by the way, which is way more expensive than the official retail price tag in China, which is 199 Chinese yuan. And 199 Chinese yuan is like a little bit over 4,000 yen. So if you manage to grab one from the China version, this is actually the price of a pop-up rate. Cheaper even, which is absurd, which is impossible. One of you actually messaged me over in Instagram with your theory, your hypothesis saying that a number of these super cheap uh, Chinese figures might be the product of AI artwork, which would mean stolen artwork, right? AI art is BS, it is stolen because what the software is doing is just taking everything from the internet, millions, billions of images, and then they are just remixing them in a way. So it is stolen art. While uh, there are no evidence of that yet, I actually did my homework. I did a little bit of digging and some Animaster original character figures, they do have an artist. There is no artist behind it. So now we are stuck at this part where we don't know whether this is actually someone, an artist working for Animaster coming up this character. Or you know, uh, whether it is AI or not, we have no idea at this point, which is unfortunate. So that is my official answer to your question on whether these cheap figures are AI art. The official answer is I don't know yet because I am unable to recover any definite evidence at this point. Putting the topic of AI art aside, at 1x6 scale, this figure is exactly 28 centimeters, including the base. I have measured it myself which is yeah, exactly 1x6 scale. And this is what the box looks like. You guys already saw it in my uh, figure haul video. This figure is small, box is small. She will be affordable to ship, which is always a good thing. And as for the assembly process, you just plug the figure into the base and nothing much else. Uh, a pair of metal foot packs down there and the right foot is tighter than the left foot. This is a lot tighter than I, I was expecting. Oh, shoot. I thought I broke it, but no, I did not. So all is good news over here. And in terms of the stability, the figure is relatively, I would say relatively rigid, right? She may wobble a bit, but that is because the surface area of the base is small. So she may be easy to knock over as you can see, but overall very sturdy figure, no complaints at all. Moving on to the actual figure itself, the sculpting. I believe that many of you pre-ordered or purchased this figure for this very specific feature over here where her hand is grabbing into her thigh or a butt and it looks soft and meaty and so on. The sculpting work, the artwork over here is excellent and it is quite difficult to believe that you're getting this kind of sculpture on a low cost figure like this. But in my opinion, this is actually the second best part about this figure. The best part we will get into that in a second. But overall, uh, what I'm telling you guys right now is that I have reviewed like four Animaster low-cost figures by now. 
any picture that they show you guys in their official artwork and whatever that is printed on the box over here, the figure that comes out, they look exactly as promised, which is always a good thing. The consistency is there, right? Now, moving on to the best part of this figure, it is the face, specifically the eyes. Now, Animaster is calling this figure series the shiny series for a very good reason. This is very different from what we saw in my previous Animaster figure reviews, like that disciplinary committee member or that uh, JK Barney, where the eyes appear to move when you are looking at the figure from different angles. This is something different and it is even better than that. I prefer this over those moving eye gimmick in the previous Animaster figures. So over here, actually, I don't feel like the eyes are moving that much, but the eyes are literally shiny. There is this transparent plastic uh, in front of the iris of the eye where it is very reflective and depending on the direction of the light source, be it sunlight, well, don't expose your figures to sunlight, but be it sunlight or your uh, light from a display shelf, you can see this a reflection, this white color reflection on her eye and it will move around depending on which angle you're looking at the figure. And this is incredible. Basically, when you look at the way people draw, uh, draw anime eyes, right? There is this uh, part over here where there will be a white color circle in the middle uh, implying reflection. Just that you're not getting a hand-drawn reflection over here. You're getting real reflection from your lights because the material used for the eye is very shiny. Animaster has nailed it over here on how glossy eyes should look like in anime figures. Yeah. And then moving on to the rest of the figure, the sculpture, the body, the waist, the butt, the leg, everything else, everything is nice. No complaints at all. No ugly gaps or seam lines. Yeah, uh, no glue stains, none of that quality control issue associated with uh, <laughs> some other figure companies out there. Now moving on to the paint job of this figure. Yeah, the Chinese dress over here, I'm not sure if I like Chinese dress or Jiongsam in blue color, but it fits this figure very well. And the paint work once again is really shiny. It looks a bit metallic, well not metallic, Try to imagine some of those uh, shiny nylon cloth out there. Yeah, it looks a bit like that. And that is not cheap paint, you know? Paint like this. Shiny paint, metallic looking paint, they are not cheap. The gold color trims, are they okay? I think they look fine. Yes, I'm just double checking things over. She looks fine. This is amazing. Coming from a 7,000 yen figure or 4,000 yen plus over in China. And lastly, talking about the base over here, once again, the base felt a bit too plasticky, like the wood texture over here doesn't look like real wood. It looks like plastic wood to me, but that is just what I'm saying over here. My, I mean, my feedback on what the base is like. It is not a negative when you look at the price point. So overall, this is a very solid figure. And just as what I said, in the starting part of today's review, this figure is a must-have for every figure collector. Grab one before, yeah, before the price goes up. And if you found this video helpful, please give this video a like, subscribe to this channel for more quality anime figure reviews, uh, and also content in general, new content every week. Until then, I'll see you guys again very soon. Goodbye.